Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and today I'm going to start two new layouts in my latest altered book with a floral theme. This promises to be a long video, and this is a busy weekend for a lot of us, so I'm going to break it up into two shorter videos. Today I'm going to talk about some of the collage elements and backgrounds. And I'll come back tomorrow with another short-ish video uh, showing how I'm going to embellish the finished pages. If you like altered books, collage, journal arts, old books, and paper, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure and turn on the notifications. And you will have more of them in your life. Let's go make pages. Having said that I'm making this book expressly because I am craving color, I'm going to mix up the floral theme by using some of these black and white pieces. What they lack in color, they uh, make up for in beauty. They're delicate, pretty, and kind of fun. Also, I can go in and add some color by painting it with watercolors or pencils. These images are from the girl's own paper. And uh, this is one from 1884. I collect these. I have a lot of them from different, different, uh, different years. They came out back in the day for decades. And uh, a magazine would come out once a week. And then at the end of the year, it was bound into this annual. And then you could keep it on the coffee table or share it with friends. So it's full of engravings and drawings, but also writing. And some of the fiction is unintentionally hilarious, very sanctimonious, while uh, some of it is actually kind of interesting. It has some history and sometimes philosophy, useful hints, how to make your own elderberry wine. Here's one on high tea. Pressed beef, boiled chicken cut into neat joints and covered with white sauce, roast leg of lamb, meat pies, game pies, lobster salad, salmon mayonnaise, deviled eggs, dressed crab, and similar Dishes are all suitable for the principal meat dishes provided for high tea. You know, I'm a vegetarian, and I'd like to see that. The sweets, too, should be good of their kind, but not numerous. A little fruit with cream, if it is to be had, constitutes a very agreeable conclusion to a meal of this sort, and is always acceptable. What she said. So I keep a... A safe search for the girl's own on eBay. That means that if somebody sells one, I get a notification in my email that lets me know, and I can go over and have a look. They're usually pricey, but once in a while I get one in my price range, and I use them a lot. So, fussy cutting these images which I'm going to do here and here is going to take yonks. So I'm going to do that off screen. I am also going to be doing some rough tearing the pages like this, where I don't really want all of the text. It makes a really cool effect because it can anchor the page like that. And you have the contrasting text and images. I'm going to go do those and then come back and talk about layout. I've already chosen the focal points for this layout, so I'm not going to be talking about those as much as I'm going to be talking about background. Putting in a background that makes your page pop. This is a pillar of, I think these are dog roses? and rose hips. And they were originally in 
this page and I cut them out. This young lady was here. And so she's going to anchor the bottom here. This is already beautiful and I like it, but I want to add something in this space. We're going to talk a little bit about focal points. Okay. So that would be good. Yeah. It's just a subtle little bit of subtle color. I like that because it's mainly dark tones as well. I have a bird. Again, the tones are similar. I'm not going to tell that story. Maybe that one. I like that one better. But then when I was going through the box of animals, I found him. And that has just grabbed my heart. But I don't really like the way he's just hanging out there. There's uh, whimsical and then there's surreal. And I'm not quite going that far today. So I want to put something down that might help anchor all this. Pull it together. I am seriously considering this. It is a French factor. It's a receipt from 1899. And if I was to put that here, trim it here and here, I'm not going to cut it till I have a better idea because that's just uh, too much commitment. But let's see, if I put that there, you've still got that charming old timey font peeking through and she's setting off the text there and there's still some space here and this little guy could go in the fold maybe with the text and he wouldn't be quite so airborne but he is a little isn't he although i do think that looks good instead i am going to try this this is a, a rough torn border. I just, it's from an old Acnotaire from 1822. I sell a lot of this handwritten French paper, but, and even though it's not a surprise that paper that's 200 years old has a bunch of uh, distress to it, I didn't really feel comfortable selling something with quite this much distress, which just means that I get to use it. So I rough tore the border. I'm going to put it here, move it up a little bit so it's not too symmetrical, like maybe there. This actually, it seems like it should be busy too busy with the uh fronds and whatnot but i think it it suits it very well she can go down here okay you know what actually maybe i will make it a little more matchy matchy so she can be well in there how about that that's okay and now he has a perch to sit on he's on the top of this and it makes a little more sense as much as a uh, flying floating shrew can make sense, I suppose. So that's what I'm going to go with. Here's another layout where I've already chosen most of my elements. I'm just going to talk about what I'm thinking here. I have marked this off. So that's where that's going to go. And again, I want to just rough tear. On a diagonal leaving some of the text to contrast with the text that's already here that's too much
Yeah, that's that's better. Now, I like these bees a lot. So much so that, remember this lady from just a moment ago? She has all these bees here, and uh, I don't think she needs them as much as I do. So, again, I'm going to rough tear these out of there. And I can put them here, carrying that bee theme to the other side so the eye goes one layout and not just page page there's also this bee that has a little corner to him and i could do that to anchor that and and put these guys here that i'm not sure about yet but i think i'm gonna go with this this uh young woman to anchor this side of the page she is formidable And you know what? I might just stop with that one B up there in the corner. I'm not sure. I like them both. Well, I will go decide. Put that down and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll have this glued down and I'll do some embellishing and see what these are starting to look like. So please join me. Until then, happy making.